begin tonight with a rally at our border. Protesters coming out against the construction of a 30-foot border wall that would cut through Friendship Park and Imperial Beach. Demonstrators highlighted the importance of the historical meeting place between the United States and Mexico. Fox 5's Lani Latang attended today's event, and she has more on their message. Leaders, musicians, dancers, community members say building a border wall through Friendship Park would destroy the connection between U.S. and Mexico, a connection many of them say is more than the brief encounters they've had at the park. Where people on both sides of the border are able to share community together. Friendship Park designed as a gathering spot for the U.S. and Mexico. Closed since 2019 as U.S. border Border officials await next steps on plans to build a 30-foot wall through the park. It's been difficult to navigate yeah. what it would look it looks like to keep my family connected. Selena Gutierrez is a dreamer brought to San Diego at five years old. Friendship Park is the first and last place she met her grandparents before they died. In 2009, when her family got deported back to Mexico, the park became the only way to see each other. Just that friendship, that place of connection, that place where family comes and meet, that a place of love in what it has been the original vision. Through an existing fence, families could share a simple touch before its closure, a drastic change for people who've seen the limitations increase. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. I can remember how it was and how it is now. And in terms of lamb here, restoration, you know, let's bring it back to what it was. Through ritual dances, native songs, along with a march to the park, the message rings loud. No 30-foot walls at Friendship Park. They just destroy it. it you know, it's... I mean, it would destroy the Friendship Park. A continued fight to instead build up the park. So I would really love to see a place where people feel welcome and people feel like they can come here with no boundaries. They can come here without having to feel like they're coming to a prison. And we want that safety back. We want people to be able to use the park to see each other on our, what all the other policies don't allow us to do. People deserve a right to continue to share love and music with each other. We need this park, not just one, we need this park. A small group out of this group will travel to D.C. on Tuesday where they have a planned meeting with the White House to continue their plea of a no 30-foot border wall at Friendship Park. Reporting in San Ysidro, I'm Melania Latang, Fox 5 News.